Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And it's been a very busy week for me uh, as far as creating widgets. Uh, for those of you who are part of the subscription, you've probably noticed uh, new widgets in your inbox. And I've been just having a lot of fun with widgets and creating them. And I'm also creating more documentation for the widgets so that it's easier for you to start using them right away. Um, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing the gradient background widget. Uh, it's a fairly simple widget, but I really like this widget. I like uh, the effect that it has, and I do love gradients. Um, so this this widget is a lot of fun. Um, so here I'm on the on the widget page, and here are the features. Uh, the features include uh, you can choose from an unlimited an unlimited amount of gradient colors. You can completely customize the gradient. Uh, you can apply. Uh, to the browser fill on your Adobe Muse website, or you can apply to individual elements on your Adobe Muse website, and you can add as many uh, gradient backgrounds as you'd like to to as many elements as you'd like on your Adobe Muse website. Um, here are the widget options. You apply it with the graphic style name and um, the gradient here. So I'm going to go over all of this in this video tutorial. It's not going to be a very long video tutorial, uh, but I'll go ahead and click on the preview page. Uh, to show you some of the gradients. So this is uh, the first example. Um, it's just a really nice gradient. This is the second example. So you can you can apply the gradients to different elements on your Adobe Muse website. Here I have a circle, a square, and a circle. Here's another example of a background or the gradient in the browser fill. And then here's uh, the fourth example, another gradient, and the fifth example. So it's fairly simple to apply these gradients. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Adobe Muse website. So I'll go to File, New Site, and I'll click OK, and I'll double click on the home page. Uh, now to access the widget, you simply go to your library panel. Uh, if you don't see your library panel, you can go to Window and click on Library, uh, yeah, Library, and that'll bring up the library panel. So here I'll just type in uh, Gradient uh, to bring up the Gradient Background widget and I'll click, hold, and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. And I can put it up here to the left so it doesn't interfere with my design as I'm designing the website. Okay, so here I'll go to the widget options and here we, we can see we have a uh, graphic style name and gradient. And then right down here we have this, uh, this link here that says drag gradient website. And this is where you'll actually create your gradient to apply it to your Adobe Muse website. So initially I've added a gradient using some of the uh, Muse for You colors. Um, so to apply to the browser fill, all I have to do where it says graphic style name is enter HTML and hit enter. So now if I go to file, preview page and browser, uh, the gradient is applied to the website. Um, it's that simple, you just type in HTML and then you paste in your gradient code. Uh, so now I'm gonna go to the drag gradients website um, and most of the tutorial will be working with this website and, and getting the gradient for your Adobe Muse website. So here's the gradient uh, or drag gradient. Uh, it's a really great website and you can add as many colors as you'd like for the, for the gradient, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so here in the upper right hand corner, there's this little gear tool. So if I click on it, it brings out the, the different colors that you can apply uh, for the gradient. And you can um, use RGBA code or hex code. Um, RGBA stands for red, green, blue, and alpha. And hex is hexadecimal code for colors. Um, and I'll get into more of that in this video tutorial. Uh, but basically, just as a quick example, I'm gonna open up my um, colors from Mies for You. All right, so here I have the colors. I have this first color, so I'll just double click, hit Command C to copy. And then here I'm gonna enter in a hex code. So I'm gonna enter in the hashtag and then the hex code, which is that. And then I'll enter in another color right here. So I'll just uh, select after the hex code and paste. So now I have those two colors and I can, and I can change the, the roundness of the gradient. So if I bring this one all the way down, we can see it's a little circle like that. And it, this website is called Drag Gradients because you can actually drag the gradients and create your own gradient just by moving these dots. It's really, really amazing. So um, let me bring up the pink color here. So if I move this dot, we can see that the gradient changes. So you can have a lot of fun creating gradients. And I actually got inspired. Uh, if you go to stripe.com, um, I really love the gradients that they have on this website. It's so slick and just really clean. And 
you know, I just really like these gradients. So coming across this was a lot of fun because now I can add these gradients to my website and have a really, really uh, nice looking website and, and very colorful and very smooth and slick looking. Um, so yeah, you just move these dots and if you wanted to add another color, you just click on this plus button here and then I'll add another color from uh, muse for you and I'll enter in the hashtag and uh, paste and there I have that color. So that dot I think is over here to the right. No, that's the blue. So this is this is the green here. So I can just move it around and get more of that green color. And if I bring down the pink, the green will show more. And I can move the colors um, on top or below each other. So if I bring up the pink, now we have the pink down here and the green is over here and we have the blue over here. Okay, and I can add another color. So let's pick uh, this one here. I'll enter in the hashtag and hit enter just like that. So now we have the yellow, which I think is right here. Yep. And we can put more yellow over here. I can move it up just like that and, and have more yellow to the gradient. Okay. So I'll add one more color just to go through the all the color swatches here. And then um, I'll add another one, hashtag and paste. All right, let's try that again. So hashtag and paste for the hexadecimal, and we have that dark blue there. So there it is, and if I bring it up, we can see that the dark, dark blue is more dominant because it's at the top. Okay, so we'll just do something like that, and we have all these different colors for the gradient. Okay, so I like this gradient. Uh, it's kind of a lot of colors, but we'll just work with it how it is now. And uh, once you get the gradient how you like it, um, you can just click here in the upper right hand corner of the drag gradients website. So I'll click there and then here is the code. So I'll click on the code and it says copied. So now uh, what I want to do is go back into my Adobe Muse website, click in the widget and in the gradient section, hit command A to select all and then command V to paste that new code. And then if I go to file preview page and browser, we have that gradient applied to the website. And then I can add text over it. So I can say, you know, Muse for you. And let's make, make it 36. I'll say Lotto, uh, make it white, and center it. Now, if you have white text, what you can do is set the browser fill uh, to any color. And the gradient background will actually override this blue color. So it doesn't really matter that the color is blue um, here in the brow browser fill. Uh, and then I'll bring in the font smoother widget just like that and I'll bring in the font smoother light and just to make the text look nice and there we have it muse for you with the gradient background looks good okay so I'll go back into the uh, the drag gradients website um, now along with creating your own customized uh, yeah customized uh, gradient they have really great uh, presets here so one I really like, um, I think it's like a mango pulp, which really feels like a mango. Like, I don't know, when I look at this, I feel like I'm looking um, at a mango. Like, I, I really like that gradient. Um, so I'll just paste that in there and um, I'll go to file, preview page and browser. And now we have that mango background. Um, and they just have a bunch of really nice ones. Just, uh, it really gives your website more of a, a nice feel and I quite like it. So this one's nice, so I'll just copy it, click there, go to the widget and paste, just like that. Looks good. And now we have that uh, gradient there. So along with uh, being able to paste uh, hexadecimal colors, you can also paste in RGBA colors. And this allows you to um, add alpha to the color. And alpha is just kind of like opacity. So if I go into my browser and I type in hex to RGBA, and I click here, hex to RGBA, and I'll just select one of these colors and uh, I'll paste it in there. And then I'll hit uh, hex to RGBA. And here we have the RGBA color. And if I hit Command C to copy that and I paste it in here, we now have uh, that color for uh, the gradient. And if I wanted to make the alpha less, I'll just say instead of one, because one is completely visible, I'll just say 0.1. And then as we can see, um, that color is less visible. Um, so you can play with the alpha and really, you know, add even an, another layer of customization or more customization to your gradients. Um, so it's a lot of fun. 
uh, working with it like that okay and we don't have too many colors in this gradient so it's not as easy to see so maybe let's see if I copy this one let me go back into drag gradients go into hex convert to hex or to RGBA paste that right in there and then instead of one I'll say 0.5 okay and as we can see that green got lighter uh, because the opacity is now 0.5 instead of one one is fully visible zero is not visible at all so uh, yeah let's say zero when it's zero you don't see that green at all okay and it doesn't show here the green but it is a green color because if I put one we have that green coming back in here and then I can move the dots again and just get the um, the code uh, or the gradient that I want just like that so it's a lot of fun I can make the the radius of the gradient bigger or smaller and that's what gives us kind of the interlaying gradients on top of each other to give us that really nice effect um, for the gradient okay looks good all right so now I'm going to show you how to apply to individual elements so yeah let me go back in here we were just at the gradients website um, so to apply to individual elements um, I showed you how to apply to browser fill you just enter an HTML for the graphic style name um, so now we'll do individual elements so I'll make the browser fill white or we'll leave it at this color for now so we can see the text. Um, so I'll create some elements. I'll create uh, two circles. So I'll create a perfect circle here by holding down shift. And I have 150 by 150 pixel uh, square. And to make it a circle, I'll just click on the corner radius options right here and set it to 100. Um, so now we have a perfect circle. We can't see that it's a perfect circle uh, because we don't have a color. So I'll just give it this orange color here. I'll fill it with orange and I'll copy it once just like that and one more time so we have a circle square I'll make this a square by unchecking the corner radius option right there um, so we have a circle square and a circle just like that that looks good I'll bring this down again it doesn't matter what colors these are because once we apply the gradient um, background the color will change so for the first um, element here I'm gonna give it a graphic style name um, graphic style name uh, gradient one yeah, gradient one the second one I'll say gradient two third one I'll say gradient three just like that and then in the first one here I'll just instead of HTML I'll say gradient one for the graphic style name and this one will be applied to this first circle and then I'll copy and paste the widget so I'll hit command C to copy and then command V to paste and we have this widget here and I'll say gradient 2 just like that and I'll paste one more time and I'll say gradient 3 just like that so now I'll go back into the drag gradients website and I'm just gonna pick some presets from here um, just to kind of move through the tutorial I'll select the upper right copy the code Go into the first one and paste that code in there. Uh, I'll pick another preset. Um, let's try this one. I'll copy that and I'll go to the second one, paste in there, and then I'll go to uh, this one here. Interesting. Yep. Or yeah, I'll copy this code here and paste in there. Okay. So because we applied these different graphic style names, or we applied different graphic style names to the widget, and then we assigned graphic style names to the elements, uh, these widgets apply to these elements or match these elements. So I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, and now we can see we have those uh, gradients applied to these elements. Um, and I'll change the background here to maybe a darker one, just so we can see those gradients a bit nicer. Yeah, that looks, that looks really nice there. Okay, and um, yeah, I'd probably pick maybe some different ones. They have some really really nice gradients here um, yeah kind of depends what you're going for but uh, yeah they have cherry they have um, purple paradise that one's nice so yeah let me just copy it here and I'll change this uh, this middle one here just like that all right I'll go to file preview page and browser and there's the purple paradise applied to that one Okay, so that's it for this video tutorial. Um, I've gone over pretty much everything I wanted to cover. It is in the documentation as well. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with that, just really explaining how to go through all the widgets and, um, 
and all the widget options and how to use them in Adobe Muse. Um, so I've been ha I've been having a lot of fun with widgets this week. Um, yeah, you probably noticed there's been a few widgets out this week, um, and there's going to be a pretty big widget. Um, I'm planning or I'm looking to release it on Sunday, but definitely look out for it. I won't mention what it is, but I'll be doing a video and releasing it on Sunday. Um, so you'll probably be seeing uh, these these gradient backgrounds in more of my preview pages um, and some of the new menus. If I go to the widgets and muse for you shop, um, like the sidebar menu, I've used the gradient background here uh, just because I like the way it looks and ha has a really nice feel to it. So this is one of the new widgets I came out with, the elastic sidebar menu. Um, and let's see, the elastic drop down menu, which is right here. And that one's a lot of fun as well. Looks good. And uh, let's see the elastic pull up menu as well. Okay, looks good. All right, very nice. And I use the gradient uh, background for this as well. So I just really like the way it looks. I'll probably be using more, be using it more in my preview pages. Okay, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, to access this widget, you simply go to uh, museforyoushop.com. And then here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here uh, to subscribe with PayPal. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the widget individually, you can click here on gradient background and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can click here to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Uh, so again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.